Hey team, in this video we're going to go over three front headlock or guillotine uh, defences. So this is when uh, you end up with your head stuck in a very bad position and your partner's able to strangle you if they want to, right? And this can happen several ways, but one of the most common ways is that you'll shoot in for a double leg and you'll leave your head exposed. So I shoot in for a double leg, I leave my head exposed and I get into a guillotine position, right? Or maybe, maybe like a head snap down, head snap down team position, either way, it's a bad spot to be in. So, uh, as always, uh, you need to protect uh, what is in danger first, and that is your neck. Okay, so I'm gonna grab two hands, use, utilize both hands to protect your neck and tuck in your chin. As soon as you've done that, you wanna reach across and get this arm as far down your partner's back as possible. So you really throw it over and get it down your partner's back. So you almost want your arm running straight down your partner's spine, okay? And at the same time, you're going to bring your elbow to your hip and drive your head to the ceiling. So you're gonna go here. Okay, so th in this example, your partner has their arms closed, okay? If their arms unlock during this, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is slide around to your partner's back. Right, once you've got your partner's back, you can start dropping a knee, lifting and tripping, a whole lot of different things. Okay, so you protect your neck, you throw your arm over, okay, and you're going to lift your head to the ceiling at the same time as your elbow goes to your hip. Now this is really important you keep your hip posture, because this is what makes your neck and spine really strong. As soon as I start looking down again, that's it. I'm going to be in a bad spot and they know exactly what I'm trying to do. So I have to go to another option. All right, so once you're in this position, you need to stay there until the end of the position. So right, look up. You know where your partner is. You don't need to look down or look at them. They're right there. Okay, and then I want you to put your hand on your partner's hip. What that's going to do is stop your partner following you. All right, so if I don't do this and I try to move around to the side, we end up with this little dance. So punch your partner's hip, then you can step off to the side. So when you step off to the side, it's the same as the Ogoshi. We step one foot either side of your partner's leg. Just three quarters, that's fine. So as I step around to the side, one leg on either side. Okay, now from here, you're still breaking your partner's posture. You've still got them moving backwards. And now we do this little elbow knee. Okay, so your knee comes through and knees your partner in the back of the leg. And at the same time, you pull them to the ground. So a lot of times, people will keep hold of this headlock position. Which is always dangerous for them if they end up trying to strangle you while you're in side control, right? So hold on nice and tight. So what you need to do is you bring this arm over the top. See how I'm trapping my partner's arm? And you clap your hands together. Right, so now, my partner shouldn't be able to get that arm out at all. I'm going to move my head towards their head, so I move my ear towards their ear. All right, and I'm, the objective is to try to get my shoulder onto my knuckles. So I'm sort of doing this motion. All right, and then I'm going to put weight through my shoulder and body. <coughs> it does work. So you've got to try to get your shoulder to touch your hand, like this. Okay, so one arm comes over and traps the hand. Okay, the head traps the shoulder even more. Okay, and then you put some weight down onto your partner's neck for the Von Flute choke. The second defense is sometimes people will use their head to block this arm to stop it from coming over. Right? When they do that, I have, to, I have to do this quickly to make sure I don't get uh, an arm in choke or my back taken. But if you move your head this way, that's right, so I can't get this arm over. But what this does is it creates a gap on the other side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring this hand on the other side, and as soon as I've done that, I sort of 
whip this arm down to my pocket, like I'm putting my hand in my pocket, and I lift my head up. So the actual motion, the actual motion will be like this. Okay, but that needs to be quick and powerful as well, because you don't want to end up in this seesawing action where I'm doing this and my partner's go back and do it again, my partner's doing this, and I'm doing this, and my partner's doing this. Alright, so once you've got it, you need to posture up and keep nice and strong. Okay, so my partner has the headlock on. I've tried to get my arm over this way, but they're blocking with their head, so I go this way. You snap your hand down to put your hand in your pocket, and you drive your head to the ceiling, like this. Okay, and from here, you can try the guillotine choke, you can do backwards roll, sumagashi, lots of different options from that position. But at least you're out of that guillotine choke. And the last one is a sort of running, lifting, slamming type motion. Um, that you see sometimes on the UFC as well, um, so you know it's effective, um, it does work. But it sets up the same as the other choke, where I protect my neck, always protect your neck first, lift over, okay, and then start lifting and breaking your partner's posture. Okay, so the difference being now is I'm not going to move around to the side. However, this uh, breaking of the posture to the side is very important, because what I've actually done is I've loaded up my partner's uh, leg that's closest to their head, right? Their head's on this side, I want to load up the same leg. So once I've done that, see this leg becomes light. So as I do this, I lift under, I use my quad muscles, I lift under, lift, and then you can place your partner, or slam your partner onto the ground. And same thing, if they want to keep hold of this choke, then you have exactly the same Von Fleet choke, as in the first one. But the key there is to run your partner to the side to make them load up uh, that leg, which makes uh, the leg you want to lift nice and light. If I don't load up that leg, it'll be very difficult to lift your partner, right? If I'm just here, it's gonna be very difficult to lift your partner. But as soon as I start running them to the side, see that leg comes up? Now they're easy to lift, right? Here, here, trip their leg, lift them, but that's going to make your life easier. So there are some uh, front headlock or guillotine uh, defences. Uh, once again, that's part of your blue belt uh, exam. Please learn it, practice it. See you on the mats.